Yeah, values, knowing your values, which yeah. come alive in your mission statement. Yeah, well, and it's interesting, like, because when I'm reading that part in the book, I was like, oh, I haven't really done that lot. I haven't put time into making my own mission statement. And then I kind of paused as well, though, and was like, but I kind of have. Because, like, see the light, be the light. I know it's so simple, and it's just like this little tagline and this hashtag and, like, whatever. But also, like, I take it really seriously because I want to see the positivity and I want to see the growth and the evolution of people. And I want to encourage that in people. And I want to, you know in the world mm -hmm. even and then be the light well i can't like i also have to be that for other people i need to be being positive and be the light for other people and and i need to continue to work on my own evolution if i want to inspire other people to do that and you know what i mean and so i almost did that by accidentally oh sorry mm -hmm. by accident <laughs> right like <laughs> i like that by accidentally <laughs> oh my god apparently i do that all the time <laughs> you do <laughs> <laughs> and I never notice, and Clay's like, honey, that's not how you say it. Oh, that. nice. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, but. yeah, there's what, and, and so see the light, be the light is, in my mind, like I hear a resulting value. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you're um, a couple of levels up from the core still in that one which is great like right mm -hmm. yeah why why does why is that valuable that principle what's the what's the concept that's live in that for you i'm asking oh you're asking okay yeah uh i think that for me it almost goes back to kind of what you were saying about the trees is that life is so full of all of these things that can just like steal our light if we give them the power to do so. Mm. so they can knock us over or they can just totally like take our life and in some uh, instances like literally take our life because mm. of suicide or drug overdose or you know or all of these things and so for me the why of that is that no matter how life can get by throwing things that can be traumatic at you or you know massive grief moments and, and all of these things there's still some sort of light in that there's some sort of positive that you can that you can see and I don't think like I feel like positivity in general is really kind of like thrown all it like oh it just means that you're happy all the time and everything's you know <laughs> rainbows and butterflies and that's not the truth like I'm a very positive person I think but that doesn't mean that I'm like skipping for joy all the time it just means that in those moments of like harshness of like I feel like I am <laughs> gonna die through the melt through the floor or like whatever those you know mm -hmm. It's being able to be like, okay, I these feelings are valid. Everything that is going on is valid. But what is here for me to hold on to that is going to get me through it? What is here for me to hold on to as a lesson that I can take with me as I leave this place behind? Mm -hmm. Right? And then, and so I think that's maybe the core of, of where that came from is like even in the darkest depths of everything like let's see the light that is going on either in that dark situation or I remember one time like I was literally considering suicide mm -hmm. yeah like I was like 17 okay and and I have been always been I like I grew up with faith and the Christian you know Christianity and all this kind of stuff so I've always believed in a higher power not necessarily a big white guy in the sky but a, a higher power and life providing for you whatever that that higher power is providing you answers if you just ask and open your heart and your mind to whatever that answer is whatever mm -hmm. form it comes in right and I just remember being in this like the depths of despair right and just being like I just need a sign like I just need a sign that it's okay like I'm going to be okay and at the time where I'm having this like these thoughts and, and this feeling I'm 
cleaning a barn, a horse barn, <laughs> and I'm sweeping out the tack room, getting rid of all the cobwebs and like all this kind of stuff. And outside it is like monsoon raining. <laughs> okay. And then all of a sudden I hear a and I look up and a hummingbird has flown in the window and is now sitting on this little tiny wire that's hanging from the rafters and it just looks at me and then it just starts like shaking off all the water like and just like cleaning itself and shaking off all the water and then just looking at me and sh you know <laughs> and I was just like holy shit like for me in that moment that was like here I am contemplating life and if it's worth it and outside there's this raging storm for this little teeny bird and it was just like nope came inside and it was like pulling itself together after the storm mm -hmm. and it was in a safe space right it found its little harbor safe space to pull itself together before it stopped raining and it go out again mm -hmm. yeah and i have things to say about that um <laughs> but, but what do you notice telling me that story what does it feel like it was now now right now yeah it makes me happy mm. like i just i i love that i in that like i had the i love that i had and have the ability to see little things like that because those are the little things that continue to pull me through all the time. Right. It can be a freaking bird or it can be a text message from a friend or it can be, you know, like whatever it is, those are like small victories and small joys and those have compound interest. They add up. When you continue to see those small things, they add up. And when you continue to see them and search for them, they're contagious and so you start doing that too and then all of a sudden you're that hummingbird for someone else <laughs> right right it's just this, like cycle yeah yeah and so when i followed the what we were talking about and you said my value of seeing the light be the light and mm -hmm. i asked why that value not because i don't understand like i understand but i'm glad i asked because you you're like these are my words but this clarity seems to be like a title for that like it mm -hmm. seeing both sides there's there's a blend of like honestly seeing and not throwing away any parts that might be valuable at the same time is also clearly seeing the parts that are probably uncomfortable it was raining it wasn't feeling well you were feeling unsure of your presence on earth mm -hmm. name that in the story and it didn't get tried to swept away but the value of noticing the light that's also available potentially that light comes from the temporariness of things or the resiliency of the bird or um but you but you were allowed clarity in the moment to see both of those things mm -hmm. and then and then, and it sounds like acceptance comes from that Mm -hmm. uh, accepting the good but, and, and also the bad and so when I hear that then you are in, in the roundabout way talking about your core value which underneath it sounds to be like clarity um, agency being able to choose between the two things